So that's two minutes to go. The team coach, Flight Sergeant Lyons, is responsible for the directional control of the aircraft. He will be looking out of the open door well, with his head in a hundred mile an hour split streams. You will he controls the aircraft by passing instructions to the aircraft captain via the intercom. For there you have been. And there. It's now his responsibility to work closely with the skills of the pilot to position the aircraft in exactly the right spot. Dispels fear. You will discover the boundless courage within you. This is a very so tense and exhilarating time for the team as they zone in on the task ahead. To dare is to do. You are about to witness a display by one of the world's greatest military parachute display teams. Get your cameras ready. It's time for the Royal Air Force Falcons. Overhead, a red light will appear in the aircraft, a signal to the parachutists that they will soon exit. The team coach, Flight Sergeant Liam Lyons, will be looking out the door, waiting for the right time to signal to leave the aircraft. He will exit first and then each jumper will follow, exiting every three seconds into free fall with red smoke trailing down to approximately 5,000 feet. to their boots, which were activated at the very last moment, before jumping from the aircraft. We can see all nine canopies safely deployed as the team immediately begin manoeuvring into the snake formation. in the opposite direction to the person in front. This puts them into a controlled turn, giving the visual effect of the heart-shaped smoke trailing left in the sky. Today, the heart is dedicated to former RAF Regiment member Stu Robinson and the rest of Team GB at the Paralympic Games. Wishing you all good luck in the upcoming games from the RAF Falcons. Cross, where both sides of the formation turn towards each other at closing speeds of 45 miles an hour and which pass a few feet from one another. They've now immediately turned into the dynamic signature parasol formation, which is the team's favourite manoeuvre and requires vast amounts of concentration and trust in one another.
round, they will attempt to land simultaneously as a team.